So to celebrate the launch of our channel and with Valentine's Day just around the corner, what better way to kick off than a guide to our favourite classic champagne cocktails? No champagne cocktail list will be complete without the classic champagne cocktail. So first up, we're going to make one of those. Very, very simple. You just need a white sugar cube. Just drop that in the glass. Some Angostura bitters. Get that over the sugar cube. Make sure it's all coated. Then you're going to take a cognac. Any decent cognac will do. Cover that with a cognac. Maybe about 20, 25 mils. And top with champagne. All right, next up we're gonna make the Ritz cocktail. This was invented by the king cocktail himself, Dale de Groff, to celebrate the Ritz hotels in Paris, Madrid, and London. For this, you're gonna need cognac again, about 20 mils. This is gonna be a stir drink, so we're gonna pour these ingredients into a mixing glass. Maraschino, cherry liqueur, 10 ml of that. Triple sec, or Cointreau, as most people would have at home, 10 ml of that. And we're gonna add some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Again, 10 minutes of that. So fill your mixing glass with ice. And take your bar spoon and give that a good stir. Stirring the drink not only chills the ingredients, but adds a little bit of dilution, as well as mixing all the ingredients together. That should do it. So now we take a chilled cocktail glass. Drain the ingredients into that. And once again, just top of champagne. For a garnish on this one, we're gonna do a flamed orange pill, which Dale de Groff was famous for. This is pretty easy to do. If you get a lighter that works. <laughs> just take your orange pill and a light. Just heat up the skin for a, a moment or two. You'll see when it's ready, the oils will start sort of spitting off the top of the pill. And then just give it a squeeze. And there we have the Ritz cocktail. So following on from the Ritz cocktail, we're gonna use very similar ingredients, but we're gonna add a really luxurious finish to it to make it a great after dinner dessert cocktail. It's called the Soya au Champagne, which means silk with champagne. Right, we're gonna take, once again, maraschino liqueur, 10 mils. Now this is what we call a built drink. So we're just gonna build the ingredients directly in the, in the glass that's gonna be served in. 10 ml pineapple juice, 10 ml orange curacao, 10 ml brandy. I'm just going to top that with champagne. Leave a little bit of room for the final ingredient, which is a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And literally just pop that straight in the drink. We can serve that with a little spoon on the side. And that is the Soya au Champagne. Another classic champagne cocktail that we're going to make now is the French 75. This is often used with gin or cognac. We've done a couple of cognac drinks today, so we're going to do it with gin this time. We're going to shake this drink. So take your, uh, your gin, about 25 mils. About 20 mils of simple syrup. So it's literally just a mixture of sugar and water, equal parts. And about 10 to 15 mils of lime juice, depending on how tart you like it. Just give that a very quick shake. We're going to strain this into a nice goblet. Top it up. Give it a very gentle stir, all but lifting the ingredients through the champagne. And then we'll garnish this with a nice long lemon zest. Give it a quick twist, get some of the oils out. That's it, French 75. Now for another one of the all-time great classic champagne cocktails, the Black Velvet. Really simple to make. All you need is stout and champagne in equal parts. We're gonna use a Belgian stout, Troubadour Obscura. Technically we should be using Guinness, but we like to do things a little bit differently here. And take your champagne and just top it up. And there you have Black Velvet. Finally, I'm gonna end on a classic champagne cocktail that combines two of my favorite things, absinthe and champagne. It's called Death in the Afternoon. One of Ernest Hemingway's favorite cocktails as well. It's named after his book of the same name. I'm gonna add a bit of sugar because I've got a bit of a sweet too. So maybe half a teaspoon of sugar, 25 mils of absinthe. And of course, the champagne to the top. So you get that beautiful milky, louched effect. 
with the champagne and the absinthe. Just stirring the sugar. Sugar is optional. Technically, the original recipe didn't have it. And there we go. Death in the afternoon.